So, hello everyone, welcome to my live action of Michael Lee, episode 69, also gathered over for episode 6, season 4, right? And yeah, last week was really, really good, the red ride, and Breaking Ball was amazing, and I, I, was, I really love it. That, that's the start, but I really, but that's the start of Kirishima's greatness. Like, he's going to have an amazing this arc, he's going to have a lot more screen time, right? And that part that did show a little bit of his flashback, and also had another character, from you know, from the main characters, there was a main, you know, yeah, well, what's the name? I won't say who, but you probably saw it if you passed that flashback and you're like, wait a minute. So, but that that was like that should be later, but I still like the idea, uh, giving a little, you know, giving a little hints there. And uh, so, I mean, that I, 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 I was spoiled, but for me, that's the best backstory. So, I, I, I just really love it. So, seeing that thing made the episode even better, right? Uh, so I'm very excited for that thing, and we'll still do more of him this episode. So, it's gonna be awesome. And uh, but you know, yeah, let's watch it. Okay, so yeah, so we're having the you know, drive team. I love the Let's Forget Gas Mansion. It's the best thing, so obviously, that thing. Hmm. Small heroes. Okay. Big tree, <laughs> yeah, big good tree. Man, I love the big tree when it's like bleach. <laughs> yeah, bleach narrator. Yeah, big good tree. Oh, it's like every hero. Awesome. Yeah, bubble girl, <gasps> dragon lady, fat gum. Yeah, Mister Brave. And of course, Deku knows everyone. Deku is like, yeah, this guy, 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 and this guy. <laughs> of course, Deku is always like, I know everyone here. They're all amazing. Yeah, there we go, the opening. But you know, you're allowed Deku, right? He's, always, he's the biggest nerd, right? He's like, oh, it's this guy, this guy, this one here. <laughs> oh, he's living the dream, yeah. Oh. Mm. As always, it often thinks it's a great song, right? But then mention is like so far, yeah. Ending though, probably the real ending. I think is the best ending for academia. It's definitely the most story today. You kind of see most here for the better, yeah. It appears now. But this part is, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, this part is like, mm. this part is great though, with the flying air, but the other part, everyone is like, uh, everyone's just kind of like in the, uh, oh. uh, whatever. It's what it is. Oh, yeah. The, that part should be screwed. Yeah, so massive meeting room. Ah. Yeah, <laughs> she's the the female trainer. I was like, yeah, I have all this. Yeah, now it's gonna give the whole and bubble girl. Yeah, bubble girl. Clearly, one hottest characters. Yeah, you should have the whole red rice. Right? Let's see. Yeah, it's time to give us that info, man. Det blir hävig dialog efter det till. 
Yeah, probably. Hopefully better. Yeah, so back to the hole, you know. Whoa, this voice I did not expect. <laughs> That's not about that. This voice I did not expect. <laughs> yeah, super uh, squishy. Yeah, okay. I wonder how to dub this thing. <laughs> it's like helium. Yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah, it's a helium voice. Yeah, it's like. I like it because it's like it's different, right? You know, you have the different, yeah. They go full out here on different voices. <laughs> yeah, that was, but yeah, that was, that was different. Yeah, because Midra knows him so well, it's like, what's weird? <laughs> so I was like, what? How do Midra knows him so incredibly well? Yeah, it's like, hmm, <laughs> suspicious. <laughs> yeah, it's like, wait a minute. Man, this is like this world building meeting episode, yeah. Oh, this guy is fun, he has a key power. <laughs> or lock power, yeah, it's like. You see that looks on his ear there, yeah, it's like... Yeah, but the fat cam is like great, you know. Like... Yeah. <laughs> it's kinda cute, yeah. Hey girls, <laughs> it's kinda cute, yeah, it's like... Come on! <laughs> Yeah, but of course, Red Riot last week, right? Unbreakable. Showed them how to beat it. Yeah, he has to can him. Yeah. Yeah, looks a quirk. Yeah. <laughs> That's like he's my hoof, though. Yeah, it's like eraser head, right? Yeah, but it's kind of like eraser head, but it's like utility. You can give it to someone else, right? So it's much. Yeah. But it's different though, because this one he's like, I can't remove the tail or someone. Yeah. This is more like reversing the curve. I think this, uh, yeah, it's more like you know, de-evolving with a human again, something like that. This was best. Uh, I would say so. Yeah, this thing is more like you know, sort of exactly the same as uh, as some sensei. It's more powerful, I guess. But yeah, it's a lot of flashback though. I mean, I love that scene. There's a lot of flashback from the last episode though. He was awesome though, the Red Riot saw, it was awesome, but yeah, it's like, and he's not used, and all the girls are like, yeah, woo, what a man, he's like, oh my god, people like me now, <laughs> yeah. he's getting a lot of fame here now, from last week, some of his first fans there in the LA and so on, yeah. Ninja girls. Do you read it all out of the way to have ever different voices? Yeah, this guy has a, like, 
Yeah. But it's, I have to say that, though. There's a lot of flashback now for the last episode. I mean, they're not, they're not long, but they're like 10 seconds in the air. It's like, you saw that, so. Yeah, it's a typical, you know, hierarchy of the. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't think about the fact that Fat has to share. He's too big to have a share. I didn't think about it at first, but he has to share the stand, sit on. <laughs> he has to stand because he's so big. <laughs> Poor man. Yeah, as you know, though, his power. Whoa. He's always so damn evil every time, yeah. And now they're like, holy shit! Oh man, that is some good. Yeah. Now they realize what they did right now. It's back to the whole. Yeah. To the regret there. Oh yeah, this is good stuff. Yeah. The dead girl, and they're like, F, you could have saved her! That was a good scene there, yeah. And so in their faces there, the depression. So talk about that. Oh yeah, and this is the this is the you know the art right he said yeah yeah he's rebuilding her. So she has so many banishes yeah. And everyone's like oh my god what's he doing it? I'm like oh f sake, yeah he's rebuilding her. It's hurting her rebuilding her yeah. Yeah, I love this scene too because we have see Deku and. We see Deku and uh, Nidio on the side, right? Look at the press as well, right? Good, good detail here, they are also. Yeah. And now this guy's like, kids, what could you have done, right? Yeah, we better do. Yeah, it's like, oh, I'm a hero. Yeah, we'll save it next time, right? Yeah. But yeah, I really love the whole thing, right? I mean, it's great how they are uh, really showing their emotions there. Yeah. And of course, how completely bastard evil is. Yeah, it's this whole thing, right? Whoa. Now, some nightmarish. Uh... Ooh, oh, that looks great too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, next time we see Erich on. Like I said, Twitch ago, the day they will get the most, right? Yeah. He's a pragmatic realist. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, kids. But I can do it. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, it's no problem, though. Yes, they have different, of course, you know. Um, Basis, right? Typically, like Yakuza family basis, yeah, and so on. Hmm. <laughs> 
I like how fast guys also like, and he's hot! And I met Tom Marks anyway! <laughs> yeah, he's also like getting into the emotional. Fast Cam is a really great character though. Love even more when he's got his, his fight scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fast Cam is amazing. That's the best fight scene, yeah. Yeah, so he's playing his powers now. He has like a limit. He has a very limited time power thing. His quirk is like very specific. Um, yeah, it's like, a, like this thing. <laughs> and it's like, but I did this thing, yeah. Yeah, and of course she used it on uh, All Might earlier, yeah, it's like... Of course she uses All Might earlier, right? So you saw All Might's future, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, he has his, uh, you know, trouble since All Might, of course. It's like, I can't use my power for that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's more like every should have saved her. Yeah. It's a bit of regrets having that girl. Separate yeah. He was carrying her, could you just turn around and run away from him? Yeah, it's you know full speed ahead of all the rest, yeah. This whole episode is all about regret for, yeah, it's more about the regret on me and Ron Decker, this whole episode. Not so much more. Yeah, what is your, you know... Gonna be here, right? Gonna have justice. But like, he's a sensei though, he's a sensei, you know, it's like, um, I know what you're upset. Oh, oh, I love that. Oh man, oh, that was great. Oh, it's giving him that like, I believe in you, kid. Yeah, it's like, oh, sensei. Yeah, the big tree is always like, we're best friends. Come on, me, you can do it. Yeah, he's supportive uh, friends there. 
Aber das war immer ja, sag, yeah. <lacht> yeah, it was great. <laughs> Remember, you can also get the emotional. Yes, that's it! Yes! You're the best! <laughs> yes, it also gets the emotional. Yeah, that was a good scene. That was a really good scene. Yeah, it's like, you can do it! Ah, but that was a great scene. It's a really good scene. Yeah, like, what's thinking about the boy? Isn't he kind of like All Might? <laughs> Isn't Small Might kind of similar to All Might, right? Yeah, he's a good... Come on, come on, you like him, you like him, come on, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this is like definitely gonna be after ending. They really love doing that this season, yeah. Or maybe, okay, so I can't remember now, but they do it less than two. But yeah, I mean, this season they clearly doing after ending every episode because no, it's definitely the time to do something else here after the ending, right? It's like two, three minutes left here, yeah. They love it this season. Like every episode has like an after ending credit scene. But yeah, the ending is really good. They have a whole storyline here with the Aaron's and so on, yeah. I think it's spoilery though. Like, I think it's kind of obvious what's gonna happen as so, well, to some degree at least, yeah. Not to tell you the full story, but it's like. There is some scenes here that's like, hmm, interesting. Definitely. Especially with the ending, when they like, with the delight, yeah, when the boys are there, they're like, we could save her, and then we see the light and so on. Yeah, and of course. Mr. Evil there himself, yeah. But yeah, you gotta get the, you know, the most evil bastard ever there. And he got the promotional art there, right? When he's like destroying her body there, yeah. So, <sighs> yeah. He is a pretty big bastard, yeah. Keeps rebuilding her body and then destroys her rebuilds the body, yeah. To build the bullets, to build the ammo, ammo, yeah. She's the ammo, right? Her body is the ammo. Her blood is that one, yeah. DNA. But okay, here we go, it has to be some after ending, right? Ah, oh, okay, so this is like her, uh, her bed, I guess. Her room. Yeah. And they keep, you know, buying her affection, right? Here's some, uh, yeah, here's some uh, stuff you don't want anyway. And she, her life is pretty much crap anyway. And she's like, here's some, uh, like, a, yeah, it's a doll. It's like, okay. <laughs> he even failed head patting. He was like, "Oh, the head slap thing." This guy even failed at the head pat. Oh my god, what a bastard! He couldn't even head pat correctly. He was like, <laughs> "What was that?" Yeah, I mean, this is like her whole life is completely horrible, right? And she's thinking about maybe I could have been saved. Oh man, it's a lot of horrible scenes here with Ari. Man, this is crazy as always. Yeah, her life is just so horribly bad. Oh no, no, she's not gonna cry in the end. It's gonna be her crying in the end there. Oh yeah, we're gonna have her tears. That's gonna be the end scene. Yeah, better than get not saving the poor girl. <sighs> but that's heavy. But I do feel that's pretty much the episode, right? Because the meeting part isn't that interesting, to be honest. The, the big part of the court is what he's doing, right? It's how the quirk is working and how it's like her body that's the quirk. Um, that is clearly the, yeah, the big, the big part of the episode. And seeing Fat Gun being all right up. <laughs> no, yeah, and, and of course, Deku and... Midor, uh, Miria regretting what did and so on, yeah, not saving the poor girl, uh, could have made the, but then it wouldn't be an, an arc, right, if they, did, if, they, if they did it, to save the girl immediately, it wouldn't be an arc, <laughs> yeah, it could be a very different arc with the bad guy trying to get her back or something, yeah, uh, I saw a part, 
I like that. Yeah, that was surprisingly. Suddenly he is like, I also believe in you, boy. <laughs> yeah, I like that. He's like, what? Suddenly I saw my face. I was like, yeah. Sean. <laughs> yeah. Gives him that like, you, you're like my best student. Come on, you can do it. Uh, that was great. That was really great. I didn't think he's gonna have some emotional part here. Uh, and also he has some nighttime part of a nighttime part is still uh, uh, it's like you know night night has like a depression. Not depression also, but more like a you know, his power is like he doesn't use his powers anymore to like, his full utility because he's since he saw the Almighty thing and he couldn't stop it anyway. He's like, you know, he doesn't want to use his powers anymore. Um uh, basically. He, he, he used it but not like, you know, in a in the, the proper way, so to speak. So he has some you know, he has some PTSD or something over that, right? But I have a more review, see you guys at the review, subscribe button, that's all right, and I'll see you guys at the review coming up shortly after this.